Are you a worker 50 plus and thinking about starting an encore career? That's the career after your career and you're not alone. Many are doing that. I want to share with you one word that'll help you find that encore career. It's a Japanese word called Ikigai. Let's get to it. Hi, I'm Paul Pichot and I've been training professionals like yourself in career development skills for over 20 years. Prior to that, I spent 20 years in pastoral ministry, which gives me a slightly spiritual approach to career development and career change in particular. Now, if you really like what this channel has to offer, I want to encourage you to give this video a like and go ahead and subscribe. And when you subscribe, ring that bell and that way you'll get notification every time I post a new video. Now, let's get on to Icky Guy. When I talk to workers 50 plus who are thinking of starting an encore career, I find that many of them are looking to strike some sort of balance in their life. They may need to work into their retirement years, but don't want to just do a job. They want to do something that's a bit more fulfilling. And in these cases, I find the concept Ikigai to be very helpful. It's a Japanese word. It's a compound word, actually, composed of two words, Iki and Gai, and it means life purpose. But where the real revelation comes is taking a look at the four concepts that bring that balance within the Ikigai. Now, Ikigai starts by taking a look at ourselves. So we've got you up there, but it doesn't just treat the world as if it's just about us. There are others in the world as well. So we've got others over here in this corner. Now, you probably know about yourself, there's some things that you really excited about. There are things that you love to do. And that's really important. That's one of the fundamental quadrants of Ikigai. So things we love to do. And then there are things that we're really good at, things that we're actually great at. So Ikigai considers that as well. Things that we are great at. But if we just concentrate on what we're great at and what we love, that gets kind of self-centered, right? These are things that just revolve around us. And there's a lot of teaching out today that says, you know, just go for your passion. As a matter of fact, Ikigai calls that intersection our passions. But if we stop there, if we just go for our passions, you know, it's very self-centered and we're sort of expecting the world to sort of provide us a living or pay us for our passions and that doesn't always work out. I have a number of passions that can't be converted into a career, can't be converted into a business. So Ikigai considers what others want and need. So needs are another category, the quadrant over here. What the world needs is really important to consider. but. It's not just that there's lots of needs in the world that we have to consider. We have to consider what will the world pay us for? And that's the fourth quadrant down here. So <clears throat> taking a look at what others need and what others will pay us for, if we only consider that, Ikigai calls that a vocation. Or if I can use the term pejoratively here, a job. That's just a job. We don't love it. We not, but might, might not be great at it, but the world will pay us for it and they need it, so we do it. And many workers get trapped in this quadrant here. Remember, either one of these quadrants is being trapped in them is not where we want to be. If we decide to go for our passions, but it's something that the world won't pay us for, Ikigai calls that a mission. And I know a lot about that because I actually served as a missionary out in the field years ago in my early years, in my first years in pastoral ministry. So I might love to do it and the world might need it, but they not necessarily gonna pay me to do that, okay? So we can't go there as well. Now, if we find something that we're great at and the world will pay for it, then Iggy Guy calls that a profession and that's all well and good and that's where many of us lie but Ikigai says the sweet spot is to find out what you love to do what you're great at what the world needs 
and what the world is willing to pay you for. That right there is your Ikigai. Hey, if you found this concept of Ikigai helpful to you, just type the word helpful in the comments below. That'll be helpful to me. And while you're at it, give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And when you do, ring that bell so that you get notification every time I post a new video. Now, before you go, I've got a free resource for you that'll help you in your Encore career search. I call it the Retirement Report, and it's free for the download. The link to that download is right below it in the show notes below. All right? I'm Paul Bichot with Whole Worker. Thanks for watching.